Hi Cancers, welcome to your reading for September. Welcome back, I've missed you guys, my fellow Cancers. I'm so ready to do your reading, even though I have no idea what's about to come out. Like, I'm even lost, all right? <laughs> I'm even really, really lost. I had to write down some things. Um, but it's nice to just jump into a reading from this point of view. Uh, let me see. I had to cross something off. Mm, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right here. Okay. I'm sorry. Otherwise, I will forget. And um, that's not good. Cancers, how are you guys feeling? We're um, in the middle of the year and we're in, you know, coming to in the middle of summer as well at the moment. And I feel that we're starting to slowly but surely coming into accepting what is meant to be. And it's not all fun and, you know, the things we normally naturally will go towards or, or choose. And there's just this feeling that is growing of like, I need to, to do what's best for me. I'm feeling, you know, that's for like most cancers. Like we really need to take that shot on ourselves and really are listening to that inner voice that's telling us that it's not for us even though we really wanted to and even though we really want to stick around or continue or try to keep helping that one person or that multiple people it's time to put ourselves on the first place and learning that to do that while you're for example still in a relationship or while you're dealing with people around you that just need a lot of care and nurturing but then still in that type of in that period of time to choose yourself and put yourself first and giving that nurturing loving energy to your dreams to your goals to your future plans and your foundation it's important because the north north is still in cancer you will be in cancer for quite some time but the lessons are getting harder to ignore so if you're feeling it i'll feel it with you all right but it's nothing negative it's just uncomfortable but it's growth and it's evolution and it's stuff that we need to come in closer and closer to feeling aligned and to just feel at peace and feel in place within ourselves and therefore within all the you know places around us all the areas in our lives So, what is Virgo season bringing for, our, for the Cancer Collective? Let's see what is coming true for my Cancers. I'm hearing wrong deck. Okay, that was clear. It's like wrong deck. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay, let's pick up. That's, yes, this is better. Animal tarot card deck. I love my angel message deck, don't get me wrong. But right now, we just need... A specific message to come true there we go <laughs> six of spring cancer beautiful you may receive a promotion be chosen for a scholarship a scholarship sorry or find that you you're singled out for a special recognition you've done an amazing job cancer and you deserve all the attention so it's like the six of wands so the time and energy you put in to something is going to pay out you deserve it you really do deserve this we deserve this cancers we do all right let's jump in to the tarot reading for this month for my cancers what's coming out for my cancers Ooh, first got out the world card that is that new beginning that rebirth moment you might travel this month in the month of september and yes but i also feel a lot of traveling like a lot of lucid dreaming your higher knowledge is coming true your higher self is speaking to you this month and also she wants to be 
heard okay he wants to be heard and wants to be seen and this is beautiful we have the artist as well coming through it's so spiritual right off the bat yes oh beautiful the moon you see my moon lamp in the back as well um the moon energy the unknown searching for the answers within and really following that alternative pathway to rome right <laughs> you might go to rome i don't know here we have the two of pentacles that's sort of living and existing between both worlds like i sometimes have a hard time with balancing that out of like i can feel and i can know a lot but i sometimes need to have a ground um like a touchable thing a thing that others can see to be able to make them believe or make them um, act upon that right it's about look, it's sort of going between two worlds it's like yeah this is what i see but this is how i feel what's gonna happen or what needs to be done even though the outside world doesn't really show that it's a voice of within and it's really trying to balance two worlds the 3d world and then the all the spiritual energy you're picking up on all right so the moon card really are going on the quest also with the artist it's about opening up your energy to that higher knowledge that higher sense of self it's beautiful it really is beautiful and the moon card as well is just you know wondering about what's going on up there like you know all these opportunities and things and really are needing that time in virgo season to go deep you know and having those spiritual moments in those days a lot of meditation a lot of spending moments in solitude in silence and receiving the answers from that there's a, hot, a lot of higher knowledge coming through for my cancers so much spiritual energy wow the moon i just feel that a lot of you have this yes the wheel of fortune beautiful and we have the six of swords you could definitely be, be traveling in the month of september that's not for all of you but a lot of you will take a trip ace of pentacles beautiful hey, money looks amazing cancers I don't think that you really are going to see this coming, but it's like money really looks good. Eight of Wands, communication about this new beginning, about this new shift, about this change. Ten of Cups, wow, and Three of Cups. Some fallout as well. Six of Wands again? Because this is also the Six of Wands. Who's cuter? <laughs> Leave a comment like, I don't know. <laughs> Who's cuter? Um, let me see. Six of Wands. What I feel is that for some of my cancers, there's this person who, who um, is really stepping up, is really um, having like this realization moment of like, wow, I got a cancer, like I got the cancer, like there is no one out there like the cancer. So I got to step up and show that I am willing to put in the work and the energy and the time and the effort to make this work and to give that, that cancer that doesn't really need that much but needs certain type of things, right? Um, to really give that and nurture them too instead of only receiving, being on the receiving end of the nurturing from the cancer, right? From us. Um, I just see that some of you are really are, um, being recognized by a soul tribe. So you could, you know, bump into people 
that have similar journeys that they're on and you guys really connect this could be people from overseas as well but overall i just see that there's a lot of communication about what where, where we're going with this so if you're coupled things are moving into like a higher level of commitment i just feel that strongly and for others of you it's all about um winning like that shining moment like we spoke about right in the, in the 2019 reading it's about shining shining your light and getting you know recognition for the hard work you've putting in but also i feel that there's people that are finally are open to receive your spiritual knowledge and just things you just know or, th or you know teaching others how to trust their intuition more and you are also starting to trust your intuition more like really trust in it not just like i have this feeling i guess i guess i guess <laughs> no it's about no i know this i just know this to be true and sometimes it 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 seems like it's not but we sometimes can pick up on things that that will happen in like a year so if it doesn't show up within a week it doesn't mean that you haven't picked up on it how many times we had that <laughs> like i knew this was gonna happen but we as cancers we feel things so early on that sometimes it doesn't really get that confer um you know confirmation so we like connected to our own intuition when we've picked up on it like two years before in front of what it happened okay um I, i'm just gonna get some more cards out because I feel September really will bring in that, yes, that, just that, mo that reconnection with self, like you've lost it a little bit, I feel, feeling a little lost, feeling a little off, feeling like I'm um, just doing, I'm just getting through the days, but I'm not really feeling in the present moment at times, so the Ace of Swords is here to speak your truth. Share that knowledge, start fresh, start new. Really cutting out the things that you need to release and, and release yourself from. Let me see. Yes, beautiful. Okay. Here we have the star card coming through with the two of swords, the empress and the temperance. Such amazing feminine energy coming through. How beautiful is this Tempers card? I was just talking about it with the Scorpios. Like, I'm so obsessed. <sighs> it's so beautiful. I could stare at these cards for days. Uh, I'll link it down in below, by the way. It's not sponsored at all. It was actually a birthday present for my girlfriend. But I want to share this deck. Like, it's so beautiful. If you, if you feel connected to it on a spiritual level, you can go and find it. Okay? Mm, the star card... That's at divine purpose. That's just that divine purpose answers. And then we have the two of swords. Which brings so much more peace than the other two of swords. It's about trusting and taking some time, you know, to really go over things. Take some time to connect. And tune in the Empress is coming out because I see the self-care and self-love tuning up you know it's about to level up and it's also your self-love and self-respect is, is coming back in you're pouring in some of that energy towards yourself that's what kind of what the universe is expecting from you right now it's not expecting you to give everything to others to nurture the whole entire world right now it starts with you it starts to, um, there is just so much going on on the spiritual journey. That is enough, right? That's a, that's a very intense journey you're on right now. And it's enough to just put in time and energy into that. Right now for, for, for September, it's all about going deep and going within and finding answers we need to work towards the 2020 right that's coming up it's 
important that you take that serious and not in the sense of like you don't take it serious like you know don't take it as a joke no it's like it's work it's inner work yeah maybe and it's not instantly paying out in 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 sense of a 3d way but it's it's inner work which is really hard work and take that serious of like it takes a lot of energy it takes a lot of time it takes up a lot of space and yes yeah, some days you might feel a little bit emotionally disconnected from somebody or something or feeling over emotional but what is over emotional maybe it's you know the energy you need to feel to be able to touch within something else within you and it's all about that inner journey and it's right now it's not it doesn't have to stay for the rest of your life it's just this this period of time and take it serious of in a sense of that it does take that much energy and sometimes you don't have space for anything else and that's okay that's fine you're allowed to take that moment for yourself and be very verbal about that that's why the the ace of swords came through you deserve that time and claim that space for this new beginning the star card it's all about purpose it's just you know you're getting a wish granted you most definitely are going to get something you don't see coming okay it's like the wheel of fortune with the six of wands and the star card you're getting that recognition like this is straight up getting recognized for your talents getting recognized for your energy getting recognized for your spiritual knowledge it's just getting recognition and it's speeding up it's all about your own feminine power tune into your feminine energy during this Virgo season where you're masculine or feminine that soft and nurturing side of you need to be you know focused towards self and that is enough and you are enough by just doing that all right let's see what else wants to come through why is the ten of cups here why is the ten of cups here there we go the queen of cups yes happy fulfillment in your element beautiful with the two of wands you're having some of you are really having that talk like the talk about okay are we gonna have kids or not are we starting our family um it's all about what makes you happy basically and really making those future plans together and serious like moving in or um you know like i said starting a family or anything like that on the home front there is this opportunity to feel a sense of belongings feel a sense of fulfillment that's what's coming in but it's after this this spiritual quest and also if you are with a partner that partner is like really like cancer is my cancer and there's nobody like her him or her out there okay nobody like my cancer out there so i'm not even gonna try and look i'm good <laughs> then we have the seven of pentacles that wants to come through together with the three of wands so putting time energy and effort in it and having your ships come out you know it's a payout of all the energy you've put in cancer but it's also about making clear decisions. Ten of Pentacles. Yes. It's about making decisions. Okay, are we going left? Are we going right? If I'm in, I'm totally in. If I'm out, then I'm really out. And it's not like half in between. Are you in? Are you out? Because good things are coming towards you. You can pick up on it. You can lift with it. But if you're scared to like release yourself from something that isn't this, that isn't never going to be that, if is never really going to be that fulfilling, it's only because you might feel like you're supposed to help that person, you're supposed to be in their life because they need you. But what about you? What about you, Cancer? What about your happiness? What about your 
future plans what about your visions what about that is that is an alignment with what you are in right now if you are in anything i want you to ask yourself this and be very honest this is all about honesty being honest without your nurturing side or your compassion side or your empathic side stopping you from actually putting yourself first because it might look selfish no because being with somebody that they that which cannot fulfill you completely will also always be a weight on their shoulders if this is not a time of like let's wait and see let's just go with the flow no so if you feel strongly that this is not it but you feel obligated to stay then you should try and rearrange the situation where you're free yourself from it because everybody is as responsible for their own self as you are for yours and others it's all equal you're not more responsible for their future as you are for your own right as they are for their own and this is a strong mess come true because i don't know you see it's all about making decisions it's about having that closer look and being really honest about this and making decisions clear decisions five of wands that is a little bit of an inner struggle i get that that i really do get but it's all in your own hands with the magician it's whatever you decide yeah definitely you're leaving a, you're leaving behind like the not this the the, the um, lack of fulfillment in this union right could also be work could be something else don't pin it down too much it's just love but i think you know what to do i think you really know what to do even though it may be scared it may feel wrong i just know that at one point there will be a time where you will go but then maybe it's too late maybe you cannot go quietly or peacefully you know let me see let's do a pick a card reading as well should we use the moon on the deck i'm sorry <laughs> that was probably really loud i'm sorry i'm gonna be very quiet <laughs> because it's such an the moon vibe you know with the moon card coming through and the moon in the background i would like to do three cards for my cancers for the month of september because we can use that lunar energy to come through and show us the direction we shall walk we were meant to walk one two three all right one, two, three. It's a little messy, but we'll flow with it. There we go. And put it here. Three cards. Take your time. I'm going to get started with the first one nothing is set yet set in stone nothing is yet set in stone take that in meditate on that three oh sorry card number two the answers you need are coming the full moon in gemini the answers you need are coming, okay? They're coming from within. They're coming to you. Your commitment is being tested. Your commitment is being tested. All right? That's what's coming true for you guys. So, um, overall, it it looks like a very beautiful positive reading kind of like it really does it's just putting yourself first is very hard i understand that but it's also very important so 
um, thank you so much for watching we will do the love reading for the month of September soon okay so then we're gonna dive more deep or <laughs> go deeper into that energy for you guys thank you so much all of you cancers to the moon and beyond and um, I'll, uh, I'll see you back soon bye